この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますオーライディ、ウォーカムエブリワン。アイムティアブー、アイムヒア、フォー、モブサイコ100、シーズン2、エピソード11。ラストタイムオンモブサイコ。ほう、ウィアリリコーエピソード。We had some really cool stuff with the boss and his explanation of his sort of driving ideals, his, his driving desire to be a pure individualist.、Uh, we had an amazing fight between Dimple Possessed、uh, body, count, body Improvement Club、uh, president guy and the big hulking hunk of muscle dude. Amazing fight. And Mob woke up. Thank God. <laughs> Or thank Mob in this case.、Um, we also had the group of other espers, the, the weaker ones, and a bunch of the, the, the former scars go off into the sewers. I think in the, into the sewers. I think that's where it is. It might be subway tunnels. I think it's sewers. Go off into the sewers to try to infiltrate the base or something and、uh, run into blind psychic teleporting super dude. Okay, got a bunch of threads going on. Also, there was that, that plant possessor controller guy who completely wrecked three dudes who were working together really well and they just got, just got bopped. So, threads that I'm most interested in are uh, uh, Ritsu and Sho are approaching the building and about to head inside. The, the psychic blind dude in the sewers. Versus all of these espers. I have a feeling they don't stand a chance, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe through the power of friendship and teamwork, we can get something done there. And what Mob is going to do now that he's up and about and doing stuff. I don't know. Let's find out. I've got it up. It's at zero seconds. As usual, there will be multiple versions of this video. You can find picture in picture versions with the video up there and the description down there, and the timer based version on YouTube with full discussion and run through and frame by frame and whatever.、Uh, timer based version will have a beep beep timer. It'll go boop 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 beep on the beep and green light. That's the same frame that Mob starts playing on my screen. So if you're playing along with your own version of Mob, that's probably when you want to hit the button. Beep beep timer goes here. Okay. Your doom. We got combo attacks. Okay. <laughs> That was just a punch. <laughs> They've gotten a lot stronger. They can actually do stuff. Huh? Was he triple crossing? Dude. Okay, so he's not triple crossing. Okay. This is tea, by the way, and it's really hot. <laughs> it's kind of too hot to be drinking. Damn it.
guidance, psychic sensor. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Huh. Huh. Oh. Well. Kind of expected that, but I kind of expected it to happen on screen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but very controlled berserk. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah? Huh? Uchi, you're gonna want if you want him? Dude. I don't know. All right. Good luck, Ritsu. I believe in you. Whoa. Okay, that was sick. <laughs> okay, this is sick. <laughs> ah. So he has, he has two primary abilities, teleportation and the ability to read his opponents. Oh my god. That's way too strong. He's got the ability to see what you're going to do. And the speed and power to get to where he needs to be to enter. Ah. Oh. Ow. Ritsu, please awaken something. Oh my god. That's not... That's not... That's not a CG dynamic camera. What the fuck? What? Bruh. Is this 12 or 13 episodes? We'll see at the end. Ah. Oh. Seriously? <laughs> How dare you, my favorite shop. Your doom. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. We need people. We need society. Okay. This is shaping up. What's the point of doing that, though? I think he's going to use his powers in a different way. Oh, is this plant guy? Oh, uh, well, Mob, this is familiar. The fight from episode one.
new newfound respect for Mob's way. Please don't kill Reed Sue. What? Hey, hey, welcome back, buddy. Ah, welcome back, other buddy. Okay, so they all, they all got bopped and they came back. Okay. Willie, though? Oh. oh my Oh my Trying to do second level reads here. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's the spirit controlly dude. No. Ah. Does he have? He's got what's his face, right? Oh. oh, oh, is that, is that, oh, 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 yup. Uh-huh. No, it's not. Hi. Again, your doom. Wait, is he building himself a body from those pla- What? Bruh. <sighs> okay, very much like the first episode. Will he take on that responsibility? Faith in one another in order to get through life. This is true. Fairness. That too takes strength. Bruh.
but he's on a level beyond. Yeah. Camouflage. Ah, uh, I don't think so, buddy. I think he's fine. Oh, umbrella guy. Oh. <laughs> Don't stand a chance. Uh, I don't think you were looking in the right place. Because there's one. <laughs> oh, is this guy? Oh. That was not the response I was hoping for. Yeah. How long have you been storing your energy? Oh my god. Does he have a limit to the distance he can teleport? Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, this combo attack is amazing! <laughs> and it is a combo attack. The power of teamwork, eh? Oh, right into his loving arms. 
You're getting bopped, dude. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe you're not getting bopped. Fuck. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's my buddy. Oh, God. Oh, mob. Uh, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Not an Esper. Who's focused entirely on Espers? <laughs> Good move. Yeah, you should be afraid. I don't know, man. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's look up the episode count really quick. Thirteen. Okay.
Oh, somebody mentioned there was an after credit scene. So I won't be too trigger happy with the, the pause. Okay. Hello. No. Okay. Fuck, what an episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... Oh, it just keeps coming. Like, I said last time that, that the last episode was amongst my favorites. And, and I made a mistake when saying that. I said amongst my favorites along with episode one. I should have said along with episode one and episode five. Because the Mogami arc was gorgeous. This was stunning. <laughs> this was stunning. Who the fuck was on key animation? Who did this? Who made this? I want to know. Is there anything listed on Mal? I don't think so. I don't think I don't think enough at least to to get a good idea. There might be something on ANN. Uh I'll probably end up cutting this out and just like because I'm just going to find the pages and see if I can find anything. Um Okay, user Tachikawa is on storyboard, script and series composition. I'm probably gonna have to go to ANN if I want to find it. Uh color design, theme song performance, director of photography, character design, and chief animation director. We'll look at him. Art director, color design, no, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Animation director has done a bunch of Bones work, and he's worked under um, um, under Yuasa on a couple episodes of Tommy Galaxy and something else. I think I saw Penguin Drum. Yeah, Bato, and and Mob Psycho one hundred two. Bingo. Usually ANN has a much more comprehensive staff list. Storyboard, episode director, animation, color design, editing, animation directors. There are three. Uh, but they're for episode one, episode three, and the OP. Got episode directors, bunch of storyboarders, and then key animators are only listed for episode one and the OP. Damn it. And then second key animation by Studio RIC, which appears to be mostly a support studio for in between and second key. Okay. So really until until some time passes, there's not gonna be a lot of information on on who's actually doing the the ground level key animation. Fuck. Okay, well. That's that's a dud. It doesn't really matter. All I'll say is that this episode was stunning, like f gorgeous. Uh, it also it also furthers some of the the interesting thematic plot threads that I was talking about in the last episode, and that's pretty cool. Let's do some frame by frames because there's a lot of stuff worth frame by framing. Uh, from the get go, really. There's this sequence not here. Okay, it's from the get go after the OP, I guess. Dooby 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 doop. Bop. Bop. Huh. Alright. Uh they they're together and they run into what's his face. And that's where we get once the show takes off running. Shit gets wild. <laughs> okay. 
working together, bonded together, making promises. Show goes off. And... Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Giant water explosion, and then extinguishers, fire extinguishers, which then explode. And it's gorgeous. And then the slide... Oof. Weighty and impactful and... Ah! My god, it's so good. And they really sell... They really sell just the terrifying nature of this guy's ability. Uh... It's, it's kind of perfect as far as, as two abilities working together. The ability to see what you're going to do and the speed to get wherever you're going to be and avoid you and hurt you. I'm here now. Now I'm over here. He can, like, combo with himself. It's insane. Uh, this sequence. The sequence kind of blows my mind. And... The reason it blows my mind is because I don't think this is CG. Now, it's a looped sequence of the, the stairwell and the turn. But I don't think it's CG. <laughs> Even if it is, it's freaking amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. So these these Esper boys are doing bad stuff and uh, <laughs> uh they chose the wrong target. Stop fucking around with your powers. And then this is really interesting. Could you have done any of this? Could you have made any of these things by yourself? All you can do is pillage and steal. It's kind of like it reminds me a bit of of how one might react to being raided by Vikings. It's like, okay, you can take our food, and you can take our, our steel and our goods, but could you make them yourself? You're just going to have to keep raiding. And eventually you're going to run out of stuff to raid. We need not only others, but we need others working together and cooperating built on trust in one another to do so in order to have all the things that we have in our society. Then he says, grow the vegetables in the sandwich, which kind of, uh, kind of hints at the appearance of the plant user. Thinking you're special because of your powers. You're only able to survive because of others. You can make anyone submit to you as long as you have power, but what's the point? What's the point of submission versus cooperation? And now he steps into the role of the one who will give advice. <laughs> Dimple's like, uh -huh, I'm going to get out of here really quick. Plant guy shows up. And again, this is reminiscent of the, the fight in the first episode against the the plant spirit thing. Anything you can do, Mob can do better, of course. Wow. And wow. And then we cut over to here. And his, his teleportation ability is so well sold. I love it. And Ritsu has this newfound respect for for Mob, not because of his, his powers. Now that he's acquired them, it's not because of that. It's because of the way Mob treats his powers and treats the rest of the world and the rest of his life. His tireless devotion to living a good and fun life. And he, he says as much to... I won't let anyone take away my ability to live a fun, fun life. Donk. And now everyone appears. Uh, everyone appears. Blah, blah. I can't speak. We get some, some sick, nasty animation. 
out. And of course, it's 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 nowhere near good enough. Oh. Then he appears above this guy with the the sign. Reminds me of of Durara, I think. Boom. This cut, where we end up in in first person shooter perspective on the gun, it's amazing. It's rather simple compared to some of the others, but the way we zoom in through this this uh, foreground digital cell of the the guy with the gun, and that zoom is is pretty darn well matched to our zoom on the background. And then we're through his head, and we're in first-person shooter perspective. And now all we have to do is hold this digital cell at the center of the frame and move it around as he does. It's got this bob, this little bob to it as he tries to line up a shot. Oh, chills. Uh, and the slight smile that he's always got on his face. Oh, my God. Not Ruto. <laughs> ah. Spirit Guy shows up. And of course, we know that Spirit Guy has Mogami, so we're just waiting for it. Spirits get bopped. The bottle is picked up. That's the poison bottle that he uses to try to, like, tame evil spirits, right? Maybe not. I don't, I don't know if that's actually been set up. If you know what that is, let me know. Because I don't actually remember. Anything but that. So now we definitely know that Mogami's there. We have Minigishi-san. Ha, 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 ha. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Welcome back, buddy. Such lowly creatures. And he forms himself a, a titan, kind of. <laughs> oh my god. There are humans that never change, but they might be able to. I believe in them. Of course he's lying to spare himself. Will you watch over him? No. But we have to have faith. It's the fundamental building block of society is trust in one another to do, do our part. There are things that can't be solved with mere kindness necessary to be hard on people at times. It's a powerful sentiment from Mogami and a very useful one which Mob will take to heart. It's part of the, the definition of fairness, you know? You can't just be kind. You need the carrot and the stick. You need to be willing to use the stick. Mob is becoming hmm. something. There's something pure about him that makes me feel like having him as a kind of overlord wouldn't be so bad. A kind of arbiter of justice wouldn't be so bad. If you can do that, you will be invincible. So he kind of turns into this tree, and I, I don't know how to how to read into that. We get Show versus Papa, and he is way outmatched. The disappointment of his father. Really hurts. <laughs> really hurts. Justice prevails. Oh, sorry, buddy. I don't think so. 
and he dismisses him. He's just going through a rebellious phase. Oof. And now we, we're turning our focus to the becoming a decent adult with the mob stuff. And now with show. What does that mean? How do you achieve becoming an, a decent adult? We get the same thing from, from Dimple a little bit later as they're going up the stairs. Couldn't find any espers greater than me, so I must be the ultimate power. I guess I'm going to use it to, to rule the world. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Yeah, have some 20 years. Oof. And then he, he recontextualizes the meaning of scars. Which they always took as a, a badge of honor. Really gut punch for all of them. You should just give up. Better taxi doesn't detect. Can actually work on him. Oh, this sequence. Okay. This sequence where we are in the teleporting perspective... Grab his head, off we go, new scenery, smash his head, smash his head into something else, to the top of a building, and away we go. Oh my god. And he's not done yet. Oh my god. What can I say except it's amazing? <laughs> it's so good! So now the table's turn. You're just an ordinary man. I know somebody. <laughs> I got this friend. Uh, and then we get the greatest combo attack that I've ever seen. Ritsu hits him with a rock. Kick. Straight down into what's her face. Pa pa pa. Boom. Into an energy blast. Boom. <laughs> Did this guy's whip things through a building and around right into his loving arms? Hey, buddy. Oof! And then he awakens his, uh, his mind's eye thing. But he's focused entirely on espers. And so... <laughs> he gets distracted by Mob's appearance. Super powerful esper. This must be the opponent. Nah, it's Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reagan. If he's unsure if it's self defense, he just yells out self defense rush anyway. Perfect. And he assumes that he's a super powerful Esper. Of course, he's not. But, uh. And as long as I have fun, right? Pretty sure he's been traumatized. We'll see. No. I'm going alone. But with the weight of all of your expectations on my shoulders. Being hard on people. And then in the after credits, Dimple says... Trying to take advantage of him while he's still a kid. But he's going to become an adult before I know it. Oh, 
chills. Okay, well, amazing episode. Really amazing episode. I had a blast watching this. I hope you did too. I'm done talking. Let's wrap it up. If you liked this video, go ahead and do that. If you're not subbed and you want more, go ahead and do that. If you are subbed and you're not getting my videos, maybe the bell can help you, potentially, if YouTube decides to cooperate. And as always, if you really like this content or want to support this guy who makes it or want early access to a bunch of my stuff or Discord access to chat about stuff or the ability to vote in polls to see what I watch next, patreon.com slash is the place to go to get all of those things. Check it out if you want to. And finally, I've been Tiaboo. This has been Mob Psycho 100, Season 2, Episode 11. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to catch you next week in the next one. It's going to be a doozy. <laughs> I just know it. Anyway, peace.